All right. <clears throat> it's Thursday, and if you're logging on, welcome to Foam Rollerama. It's me, Viv, and I've got my short foam roller today because today's theme is myofascia release. That's a lot of syllables, and the breakdown is myo and fascia and release. Myo as it pertains to muscles, fascia, which is the connective tissue that connects muscles to tendons and muscles to ligaments and all of those muscles to various places on your body. Deep down inside, it's the fascia. It's kind of like glue it brings it all together. Myo, fascia release, is like massage, self-massage. Massaging yourself at some various and strategic locations to keep the blood flow, to keep the muscle stimulated, to keep the oxygen flow as well. It's supposed to reduce the buildup of lactic acid. It can be done, this myofascial release can be done after a workout in which maybe you worked hard, maybe you ran, maybe you danced for an hour and a half in an advanced class. So you can always pick this video up a little later on Facebook or you can watch a video or two on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Fit With Viv. So don't key in my name, Fit With Viv. Today, I'm going to begin seated, possibly on a chair or the couch. And we'll start by myo, myo, myoing the feet. Let's myo massage the feet. The whole foot from the toe all the way down to the heel. Now, if you feel like you can take on more pressure, then you should stand on it. Feel free to stand heavily and you can even localize in a particular location and target that area heavily and repeatedly. I am at the ball of my foot where I tend to get some, I don't know if you call it pain, but I like massaging that area. Some of you might do better to massage just in the arch a few times, or if you prefer to massage just on the outside rim of your foot. Don't forget the toes as well. I'm doing pretty um, short and staccato rolling and now targeting my heel. So wherever you're going to feel that you're reaping the benefits, go on and massage. I'm going to switch legs because once we move away from feet, I'll be down on the floor. And I like the opportunity to be able to sit down and bear down, but also have the option to stand up and bear down. So do as you feel necessary a few more times. I'm in my arch now and <clears throat> on the outer rim of my foot now, all the way from the little toe to the outside edge of the heel. There's a few of you who probably already know that if you put another part of your body on top, then you can use your foot, in this case, your foot to push down. That's gonna be a little practice we can do a few more times on the floor as well. All right, I'm coming down. Let's get to Achilles and calf. This is a perfect location to um, define myofascia because right at the bottom of your calf muscle begins the upper Achilles tendon. So, yeah, arguably, the muscle becomes tendon, tendon becomes muscle. I am targeting that whole area. Whichever way the roller is rolling, I call it north-south. The foam roller is just going forward and back Think of it as north-south. As you do that rolling of the roller, you can always turn your leg outward. So I'm on the greater part of my shin, the meteor side of the shin. This feels good, but it would feel better if I put another leg on top and I've elevated my body so my butt is off the floor. I'm using my arms as a way to maneuver myself forward and back. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit of the inner calf, so more of the bulkier inside of the calf. And oh, 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 I was just about to tell you, if you find a sweet spot, you can sit on that. Sit on that sweet spot and see if you can't, ooh, try to negotiate. Maybe you've got a kink there, a little knot or something. Work it out, work it out. All right, I'm gonna continue up the same leg. And again, use this method in which my hands and my foot are lifting my body off the floor. My heavy body is rolling back and forth. This targets the whole hamstring, the back of the thigh. Your hamstring is like a meatloaf. It's one giant piece of meat here, meatloaf. 
So roll to the side, and you'll get a little bit of the outer thigh. And if you can manage, you can roll the leg inward and get a little bit of the inner thigh. And whatever method you're using, in my case, I'm using my arms, and my butt is off the floor. Mm. I'm going to target now the area that it, it seems to have a nickname these days. It's called the underbutt. Mm -hmm. So I'm targeting my underbutt. My underbutt. Mm. Oof. Hold the knuckle. I don't have a whole lot of muscle at my buttocks. I have to blame my mother for that. And so I feel the bone, if you ask me. What am I feeling? My bone is on this roller. Oh, gosh. But I can still roll a few more times. Now, I have completed the back side of leg number one, and so I will repeat my method, my methodology, for leg number two. I am targeting a specific area, the upper Achilles and the lower calves. The calves, as we call them in layman's terms, is really two different sets of muscles. The soleus, soleus is the lower end, and the gastroc, gastrocnemius, is the upper bulkier end of the calf. I am primarily on the lower end. I'm on the outer shin now, outer shin, all the way to the ankle, and the roller is going north-south. And that reference is important because now I'm rolling my leg, my leg is turning east-west. Take your time. Oh, I found a sweet spot. I just want to sit on that and work it out. Yeah. Wish I could get heavier on it. Oh, I know. I'll place my other leg on top. Mm. So we've got a few more times to roll, and then we've got to move on. Now, the bulk of my hamstrings. We call it the meatloaf. That one giant, um, huge fat slab of muscle is your hamstrings. I'm going all the way from the back of my knee and all the way up to the underbutt, the base of my buttocks. I've got my arms and my foot here maneuvering my body forward and back. If you find that this is starting to get a little bit laborious, your arms are tired, an option is to bring yourself backward against the couch, which I can demonstrate now. As I elbow my way off the floor, I can roll on the roller back and forth. I'm gonna move the roller closer to my underbutt. Oh, <laughs> and there I am. Massaging the area at the top of your hamstrings, which is the bottom of your gluteus maximus. Oh, sub gluteal fold. I'm on my outer thigh, just a little bit heavy, and I'm starting to feel those butt bones. <laughs> All right. Now we've done the back side of both legs. And if there was any spot that you needed to stay and linger there a little longer, you can go back and play this tape again, or you can pause it if you were to pick up the tape on a replay later. Now, we're face down so we can get our thigh. Once you have arrived face down, you're likely to be on hand, hand, and knee. But this can be done on forearm, forearm, and a little bit of the inner knee. The bulk of my thigh here is on top rolling forward and back. The thigh muscles, your quads or quadriceps or quadriceps femoris, is really more than four muscles here, so it's not like the hamstrings at all. Every time you roll a little bit over to the left and you roll a little bit over to the right, you're getting a few more muscle fibers. Oh. Ooh. This is a sweet spot for me. Mm. Continue to roll out as much as you need. And remember that you don't want to just sit in one track. Try to roll over and get in another lane of your thigh muscles. Mm. I'm again on the outer thigh and rolling basically from knee to hip. I'm doing it now as I roll and now I'm on the inner thigh. To get to the inner thigh, you want to be able to place from knee all the way, basically to your crotch, but be careful, as you push down and roll back. Push away, 
and roll back. We've done a pretty good job here massaging the whole leg. We did hamstrings, we did outer thigh, and now we're getting to the inner thigh. You should be able to move within your, ooh, within your comfort zone. Oh, God. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, that's a spot right there. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll, do, I'll, I'll have to get to that some other time. <laughs> All right, here's my um, other leg. And I am face down. <clears throat> you know, you can start on hands, hands, and knee. But I find that the lower I am to the floor, the less stress on my wrist. Identify the whole thigh as much as you can from knee to hip. Take your time. Now I'm rolling my body so that the outer thigh oh, is primarily ooh, on top from outer thigh, knee, outer thigh to hip. Stay on it for a few more rolls. Ugh. There's a sweet spot right there. Mm -mm -mm. And now as I continue to roll back and forth, north-south, I'm changing the angle of the roller so that I can get the inner thigh. As I roll backward, and well, this is forward and backward. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get these little knobs in the right place. If you have the trigger point roller with the knobs, you kind of want to use those knobs for what they're worth. Ooh. So, oh, I'm much, much closer to my inner thigh now and moving cautiously. Yes. I think my head has disappeared out of the camera shot. You don't need to see my head, you just need to see my roller. Okay, I'm moving on. Fortunately, I'm in a proper position to place the roller now so that I can roll my butt right on top. Again, you're going to want to be a little bit careful. I have bony butt. Oh, oh, oh. Oof. So I can feel the butt bones pretty quickly. I'm going to roll a little heavier now onto my right butt cheek. Excuse me. And roll back and forth a few times. Wow. Man. So now, doing a little shift, and I'm heavier on the other butt cheek. Roll as much as you can, you know big and slow, or if you like the shorter and faster, try to hone in on that spot that really needs that massaging. You want to get to the spot that needs your attention. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh my goodness. All right, now as we move on and we travel up the body, I'm placing the foam roller now to where it will be near my shoulder blades. I want to be strategic when I arrive. I'm at the bottoms of my ribs. As you know, your hips will have to be off the floor. Now if you've got long hair or any kind of a tie or scarf, maybe even a hoodie on your shirt, you're going to want to be careful because if it gets tangled up, well, you know. <laughs> so be careful. My hips are up. I feel like I'm getting a glute workout. But really, I want to focus on the massaging at the shoulder blades. Massaging at the shoulder blades. I'm very centered. I'm on the middle of the roller. The middle of my back is on the middle of the roller. Okay. I'm making a minor adjustment because my clothes are getting tangled. What? <clears throat> Here I am again. I'm basically on the shoulder blades as much as I can tolerate. And while my arms are up, they're not perfectly straight. All I have to do is turn away. As I roll north-south, I'm very heavy on what is my left shoulder blade. You can see my right shoulder blade is lifted. I can't tolerate very much. It hurts so much. <laughs> so I will return to the center and fix my clothing and then get onto my, get onto my 
Right side, shoulder blade. I am basically on the right side shoulder blade with my arms elevated, which will help to keep the shoulder blades open wide across the back. I'm returning to center and trying to equalize centering. Oh, both shoulder blades. Yeah. Now with your hips down, see if you can't find a way to roll back. Now this is not for everybody. If you have neck issues, this is probably not a good idea. But I'm getting there for the chest expansion. Oh, I need a little more. There we go. This is my ribs and chest expansion. But my head is so heavy. I'm going to support my head. And we're not done, so come on up. Let's move on. Now I'm placing the roller directly under my neck. It seems to fit perfectly. How clever is that? Keeping the pelvis heavy and level, you know, I'm not tilting to any side. I can also feel the border, the bottom edges of my shoulder blades, and my head is basically in a neutral position. I'm not doing anything. Turn your head toward the camera and feel that massaging at the base of your skull. Turning your head to look away and feel your body is rolling on the roller. As you come back and you look at me in the mirror, I mean mirror, look at me in the camera again, the roller isn't moving, you are. And you are rolling east-west. Oh. Close your eyes and make some minor adjustments. For me, my minor adjustment is I'm lifting my chin a little higher toward the ceiling. And the area of my head is a little bit higher up the back of the head that is now rolling on the roller. I'm going to pause in the center and drop my chin to my chest. Oh, I can't drop my chin to my chest after I move my roller. A little more side to side, turning your head east-west. Now, if you find that there's a spot that you can't tolerate at all, of course, well, don't go there. But if it's the kind of tolerating that you can tolerate for a little longer, maybe you just need to be there for a moment and roll it out, roll it out. Okay, so I'm going to roll up to seated and turn the foam roller so that it's parallel down the middle. Here again, <coughs> be very conscientious of your own neck. If you have neck issues, then you should know to take care of your head and your neck. My foam roller is between my shoulder blades and my head is very heavy. So I am going to support my head with my hands. Feet placed wide open. I'm using the power of my leg so I don't fall down, but also to help push me over to the other side and then push me back to the other side. Once I've done that a few times, my legs will stay still and I can feel my shoulder blades as my elbows open and the chest expands. Now this may be just really uncomfortable for some, so I discovered some people use yoga blocks. I have a soft ball. You could use both yoga blocks or soft ball. Oh, my roller's crooked. To support your head. Now, I'm on a ball, so if I turn my head, I might fall down, so I don't want to turn my head. Making a minor adjustment here. And if you're able to relax, like seriously power down, you can feel the shoulder blades on the roller. If you've done these types of exercises with me before on the full length foam roller, or maybe you're on a full length foam roller, your tailbone and your head bone must be on the roller. Arms up, everybody, straight arms. My straight arms are sinking, shoulder blades sunken down onto the roller. Open arms wide, arms all the way up, and then arms open wide. This will be the last time you want to feel the movement, the mobility of your shoulder blades, and then relax. Let gravity do the work. Of course, your butt is going to want to hang down, and so depending on your comfort level, you may want to lift your bum just a little higher so that you're not getting that crampy kind of feeling in your low back. It's only a few of you who know what I'm talking about, so don't worry. 
just try to keep some power in the buttocks. Don't drop your pelvis completely to the floor. Some of you will be able to turn your head. If you're on that yoga block, you can turn your head a few times. I am experiencing, what am I feeling? I'm feeling my chest opening nice and wide. We're going to continue to arm circles, and then this will essentially be the end of the back massaging. So my arms are moving, which moves the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are moving, sometimes touching the roller, and sometimes not touching the roller. Reverse the direction of your circle, now going in the opposite direction. A few more times, feel the shoulder blades, and keep the arms low. High. Here's my last one. You're going to want to roll over sideways, I think, to get off of your roller. Bring the roller now basically near the armpits. There's a great set of muscles here, the latissimus dorsi. Let's try to target ooh, the foam roller just woke up my triceps, which is the back side of your arm three muscles, tricep, then latissimus dorsi. Your lats, you could say, begin at your armpits, oh, and then come down all the way down past your ribs. But it depends on what kind of a, oh, anatomy book you're looking at. Man, I can't tolerate much more. This hurts so much. Let's do a few more here. All of my triceps, and then onto the lip lats. And then it's time to do the other side because I can't do any more. Remember, there's a lot of places that you can stay and stay longer. Oh. All right, I'm on my hip. I'm getting my triceps, three muscles. So make sure you're getting the right side of them and the left side of them. Mm. Then, targeting my lats, <laughs> oh my gosh, my whole body has to roll back and forth. All right, oh, my arm is in the way. There we go, feel it. <laughs> this must look really goofy on video, but you know, if you're doing it with me, then you get it, you understand. Oh, excuse me, that it's not about looks. <sighs> All right, oh, the last area that I wanted to get is the front of the thighs closer to the hip flexors. So face down, you're probably gonna have to make some minor adjustments, but also listen closely. Your legs should be closed. So be as narrow or small as you can on the roller. I'm basically going from thigh, the tops of my thighs, to my hip flexor, and be mindful, of course you're gonna be mindful, of possibly your pubic bone, or all the way up here, your hip bones. Be careful of the bony areas. <coughs> I'm going a little more forward, and very much backward. Forward, bending my knees, and back. Straightening my legs, forward, and back. Knees bent, forward, back, legs straight, forward, and back. I have to start over. <clears throat> Oof. Straight legs, back and forth, knees bent, back and forth, straight legs, back and forth, knees bent, back and forth. Last time here, Oof. Mm, 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 mm. If you want to target just one leg, put one hip on it and go the full length with one leg and be as heavy as you want. Lots of weight. Mm. knocking it out. It's my second hip. I got two of them. Second hip primarily targeting right smack dab in the middle of the hip flexors. Top of my thigh 
Oh, at the crease of the hip. Don't mind me as I make funny faces. Oh my god. Ooh, I found the sweet spot right there. All right. So you do you. I do me. Oh. <laughs> and I have done enough. As I come to a seated position, I'm going to sit with my legs open. And really, this is just for the straddle stretch. So when you sit up tall, try to turn your legs on and push the roller forward. It's not that important, really, that you have a roller or not. Just go for a stretch in this turned out position at your legs. I'm coming backward and going again forward. Sinking, 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 and then pulling back. I'll just go one more time. Stay sunken a little longer. And come on back. Ah. Closing the legs and bringing the roller to the side, you'll be able to roll on the roller and bend sideways. I suggest we do the same side a couple of times. Oof. It's really easy for me to not tell you about your hips. And if you didn't know any better, you would just let your hips lift off of the floor. It's my job to tell you to keep your butt down. So keep the hips heavy, grounded like deep roots of a tree when you bend sideways. We've done plenty on that side, so let's do the same on the other. Initially, oh, you might not go very far, but knowing that you could go again and again and again, ugh, you really want to push the envelope, if you will. So go farther and farther. Don't hold your breath. Going a little bit farther, you don't have to speed up. Keep your hips down. Keeping the buttocks grounded the whole time. This will be my last one. Hopefully, it's my personal best. As I come back to vertical, I'm sitting upright and my roller is behind me. Now be careful, when you put your hand on top of the roller, you know, it can roll away. Ah! So don't do that. But experiment with chest expansion. I'm forward, I'm backward. Oh, my head is forward, my chin is upward, and my chest is expanded. Let's go one more time. Oof. And there you go. You can put your roller away somewhere so you don't step on it because, you know, sometimes you get up and you're a little dizzy. And this will conclude my foam roller rama for today, Thursday. Join me next week on Thursday at the same time, and we'll go back to regular Pilates-based foam roller exercises if you're following me um, live. Otherwise, if you're on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's on that corner down there. And ring that little bell so you get your notifications. Um... Thank you. See you next week.